In this video, I am going to show you how you can install PyTorch and CUDA with GPU support on Ubuntu operating system. I already have Ubuntu running on my AWS EC2 instance with one GPU and I already have installed GPU drivers on it. If you don't know how to install the GPU drivers, I have a full complete video on it. Please check my channel and you will find the step by step instructions there. Okay, coming back to this video where we are going to install PyTorch and CUDA toolkit on Ubuntu system. Let's first update our operating system fairly quickly. And this is my terminal. So the command for it is sudo apt update. It is going to update all the libraries. Let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Also, let's upgrade it just to make sure everything is up to date. That is done. Okay. Now, before we install um, this PyTorch, I would suggest that we install Conda first because Conda lets us install a lot of packages very fairly easily without going into a lot of issues. So let's first download and install Conda. Let me quickly check if Conda is already installed. Conda is not there. So let's install Conda first. In order to install Conda, let's first download it. And in order to download it, we need the wget utility. Okay, so let me use sudo. Okay, so wget is done now. Let me clear my screen. And now let's quickly download the conda shell script with this wget. Shouldn't take too long. That's done. Now let's check the checksum of this shell uh, script which we have downloaded. Let's wait. Okay, so the checksum is all right. And now let's run this shell script. Press enter and spacebar, spacebar few times. And then just type yes and enter. Press enter. And that is going to unpack and then install Conda on your local system. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Conda installation is done and now let's initialize Conda. Just type yes and press enter and that's it. Let's also source our shell so that environment variable and everything will take effect. That's done. Let me clear my screen. Now let's check Conda version. So Conda info. So that is fine. It is running all good. So our Conda is installed. Now let's create, maybe I will create a virtual environment just to keep everything clear. So I'm just going to say conda create dash n and I will just ask it. I'll just call it um, maybe dolphin and I am just going to use python is equal to 3.11 the newest version. Let's wait for it to finish. Press yes. And that is going to install a lot of stuff. Let's wait for it to finish. That's done. And now let's activate our Dolphin environment. Press enter and you can see Dolphin is in the brackets now. Okay. So our Conda is installed. Now, once we have the Conda, we can um, install our Conda toolkit first. Now, in order to install it, the commands are simple. It is conda install nvidia cuda nvcc. So that is the first step which we need to do. Now, the reason why I'm doing is that because this cuda or nn is a GPU accelerated library for deep neural network from nvidia. And either you can download it and manually install it, or you can simply use um, this conda environment in order to get it installed so i'm i'm just using the conda one just to keep it simple so you can see that i'm saying it code and uh, conda installed i see nvida coda nvcc just press y and that should install it fairly quickly let's wait for it to finish 
that's done and now let's also install our CUDA should not take too long press Y here and that is fairly quick and once that's done we will check our CUDA version so let's wait for it to finish that's done let me clear my screen and just type nvcc dash version there you go so now we have CUDA installed uh, that is great let's clear the screen and now in the next step let's install our CUDA toolkit the reason why we are installing CUDA toolkit is because PyTorch relies on it for GPU acceleration just press Y and that should be fairly quick to install let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long that's done and now let's install PyTorch let me clear the screen and we need to use this command to install the latest version of PyTorch with few other things let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long it has resolved the environment and now it is asking that these are the things which it needs to install and then just type y and press enter and off it goes and it is going to install a lot of things as you can see for example if i scroll up you can see that we it is installing numpy jinja ffmpeg and lot of other machine learning tools so if you're looking to build any machine learning application this is a must took bit of a time but at last it is installed and now we have installed it so now we can take full advantage of GPU acceleration for training and deploying deep learning models which will improve the performance and efficiency overall of the models we are going to train and use also remember that once you have installed it updating and upgrading all these GPU drivers CUDA toolkit um, CU DNN library and also all of this stuff is uh, has to be done quite regularly because things are evolving so rapidly so make sure that you are upgrading it as soon as uh, possible I would suggest do it maybe every month to be on the safer side now if you want to verify whether the CUDA toolkit and PyTorch are installed then there is a simple way of doing it simply uh, within this conda environment type python and it will take you to your python interpreter from here first let's import the torch that is going to tell us if torch is there so no error it means torch is working and now just simply print this torch.cuda is available if it prints true then it means all good and if it doesn't then it means that cuda is not there and for gpu simply type this print torch.cuda.get device name it is going to print the name of first gpu which in our case is tesla t4 so that's it guys uh, both PyTorch, CUDA, Toolkit and everything is installed happy days if you're stuck or facing any issues let me know and I'll be happy to help out and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much